Hey guys, Nate from Mighty here again, jumping in to uh, talk about something that's pretty cool I've been cooking up over the last week. Um, just another example of how you can use Mighty's custom code features to build pretty innovative new things that can go inside of your Articulate Rise courses. So over the last week, I've just been tinkering a little bit with ChatGPT again, and I actually built a chat bot. So an AI learning buddy or friend that you can put right into your course and people can then have a resource, a subject matter expert right at their fingertips to be able to ask any questions about your course content. So if you're training on complex training topics or compliance or regulated topics that people might have additional questions about, this is a great solution. You can just put in this chat bot, make it available. It's persistent through the whole course uh, in the bottom right of your screen. They can just click on it, ask it any questions, and it can give it that feedback. Um, so just another cool little feature that you could drop in using Mighty. So let me show you how it works. All right, let me show you guys how this works. So you'll notice in my course here, I now have a new icon in the bottom right of a little uh, chat bot. So you can click into this and you get this modal, what can I help with? And maybe I'm reading through this and I'm reading about cognitive reframing in this course, for example, and I'm like, okay, this sounds interesting, but what other methods are there? So I could ask, hey, are there other methods that are effective, similar to cognitive reframing? And it's going to send it up to my AI service through OpenAI. And it's going to give me back its thoughts. So here we go. Yes, there are other methods similar to cognitive reframing, which are part of CBT, mindfulness, behavior activation, exposure therapy, relaxation techniques. Cool. Okay. So tell me more about exposure therapy. So the cool thing about this chatbot is it knows that this course is on um, mental health and it knows that this course is going to be um, giving me information on that. I've already given it that information. I'm going to show you how inside of the code here in a second. So everything that it gives me back is going to be specific to this course content, which is really cool. Um, so here it is, you know, exposure therapy is a psychological treatment method. It's going to give me more information. You kind of get the idea. I can close off it later on. I could be going through the course and I could come up with something else that I have a question on, go back to it and ask it additional questions. So pretty cool, handy little um, sidekick for you to go through a little subject matter ex expert that's built right into your course. You can ask it any questions um, and it can give you answers. So let's talk about how we actually created this. So this is just a simple um, JavaScript function that I had ChatGPT help me with crafting, um, as well as some styling that we went through just to make it look nice and kind of give you a nice aesthetic uh, feel for it. You can modify this. Uh, you can change how it looks. You can change the icon, do whatever you want. Um, but let's talk about the JavaScript function and what you really need to know in order to use this. So the first thing that you notice here is it has an open API key that you would need. So let's let's talk about that first. The very first thing we need to do is we need to have a uh, account on platform.openai.com. So in here, you can go to this link right here. Um, and all of this information that I'm sharing with you right now is going to be available to you inside of the Maestro Community uh, Mighty Code Catalog. So inside of our Maestro community, which there's a link to inside of our description of this uh, video, that will take you right to the Maestro community. You can sign up, you can get access to this. And right in here, you can see you got the files for uh, the chat bot as well as the CSS that I'm using. So you can go get that. It's gonna have detailed instructions in it. So sign up, go check that out. Um, but getting back to the platform.openai, once you're in here, you sign up and you'll notice on the left menu right here, there's a section called API keys. So you just go to the API keys and you click create a new secret key. You name it, you click create, 
And that's what I already have here set up. Um, the biggest thing that you're going to remember, want to remember is once you create it, it's going to give you that secret key and you're going to want to, to be able to use it later because it won't show it to you again. So you need to get it right when you create it. All right. So once you have that key, then inside of this function, so you would go and you'd get this uh, function within the mighty code library, the mighty code catalog. And uh, you would paste this function in right here, and then you would put that open AI API key right here. So that's the biggest thing. That's what's going to allow you to communicate with your AI service so that your chat bot can get the results that it needs. So that's the first step. Um, after that, you're going to notice I have a couple other things here. I have course ID, I have course content and I have a system prompt. So the course ID is so that you can actually set a ID and use this chat bot in multiple courses. Um, I'm actually saving your chat history and I'm sending that chat history to the AI service. Um, so once you have chat history, when you go and you actually click, which is behind this mighty icon right now, it won't be when you publish it, um, it asks, what can I help you with? But once it saves that chat history, like over here, you'll notice I click on it and it's going to load in that chat history for you. Well, this course ID allows you to create a unique course ID for every course. And that way that chats to that specific course. So you're going to give it a, a course ID. Another thing is course content. So I just went with something really simple here. I said this course is covering mental health awareness you could give it as much information as you want here. So this is basically telling in the system prompt to use this information in order to give a response that's relevant to the topic of this course. You could put your entire, uh, your entire course in here if you wanted to so that it had all of that context, or you could just give it some boundaries of how you want it to respond. You can also in the system prompt right here, um, add any additional information here. So if you want to say only give responses that relate to mental health, don't let them ask other questions. If they do give them this response, you could include that in the system prompt so that you're locking down what is going to happen in the response uh, to your users. So that's really what you need to know for the function. You need to be able to put in your OpenAI API key here. You need to give it a course ID so that it's giving you uni unique results to the specific course and not pulling in chat history from multiple courses because that could be confusing to your learner. Um, you need to give it its course content details so that you can create kind of the context of how you want the AI bot to respond to your learner. And you need to fine tune your system prompt so that you can give it the right boundaries that are uh, appropriate for your use. Um, and the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download that CSS file from the Mighty Code Catalog. You're going to want to grab all that CSS and you're going to want to drop it in here. Um, so you'll have your JavaScript, you'll have your CSS, you'll click Save. And once that's saved here, you can run a preview. Um, and inside of that preview, you'll be able to see that your chat bot is now functioning. And it's really that simple. So all you have to do is grab the function that has already been created for you, grab the CSS that's already been styled for you, make any changes that you want to change, and drop it into the custom code area of your theme. And just like that, you have a... Um, chat bot that's available for your learners to be their subject matter expert on the course. So again, um, just want to remind you, you can go get all of that code inside of the code catalog inside the Maestro community. Um, go ahead and sign up, come in here and, and get that information. All that information for how to sign up will be in the description to this YouTube video. So grab it there. And yeah, I mean, give me any thoughts on how this works for you. If you have any ideas on how to improve it, I will make mention of one thing. Um, and that one thing is that this secret key is in plain text um, inside of your JavaScript file. That's not a best practice um, generally, but because you're deploying this course 
to a controlled audience, um, it's not open to public. Like nobody's going to find this uh, key uh, out just on the web. It's going to only go to your audience that you're delivering your course to. So it's pretty low risk there. The other reason why I'm not really concerned about putting this right into the JavaScript here is because you have full control over how much spend uh, you want to allocate to this. And when that's used up, you can cap it. And so if somebody does grab it and start sending uh, requests over to this open AI um, service that you've set up, it's really not that big of a deal because you can monitor all of your usage. Uh, you can set caps, you can shut it down at any time. And if you need to, you can delete the key and create a new one. So it's pretty low risk um, for doing that. But I will say, if you wanted to secure it, you could always put it into a little node app on a server, but then you have to deal with things like authentication and there might be some other challenges that aren't creating maybe the best user experience inside of your course. This is just really simple. This will work for some people, it won't work for others, but it really illustrates the power of custom code inside of Mighty. And it's a pretty fun uh, little widget to be able to create. So. Awesome. Thanks for uh, listening to my video. And until next time. Thanks, guys.